exciting episode of Smarticus. I'm Daz and I'm in the Canberra studios. Great to have you all joining us here yet again. Uh, and joining me tonight, we have the, the wonderful mispronouncer, Josh. We have the person who has the same first name as Timberlake, Bieber and Time, Justin. Oh, that's me. <laughs> we have we have the person who obviously doesn't understand the concept of football, Keenan. And finally, we have my best friend for life, Lee. Welcome, gents. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Look, great to have you all here to uh, join us. Um, and if this is your first episode of Smarticus, we've done a heap more. Go back and watch those after you've seen this one. But here are the basic rules for it. First of all, each host here asks a question and uh, all the other hosts try to answer it. Now I say try because we're really, really bad at it, but if they get it right, they get a point. Um, not only do they get a point, but the person who asks the question also gets a point unless everybody gets it right, in which case they get no points because they were obviously not being smart enough. The question was way too easy. Sound, sound like a simple game? That's great because we're... No, it doesn't sound like a simple game. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> How many how many episodes of this have you played so far? I think you yeah. We still don't get it. (laughs) In a way, just leave all the scoring up to you, (laughs) Daz. Yeah, yeah. Well, (laughs) we fix it in post. That's how we that's how we roll. (laughs) Speaking of how we roll, uh, get that music going and let's get started. Thank you for thank you for enjoying along there. Okay, so as I said to you before, my name's Daz, but this time round, instead of me asking a question, we actually have a question from one of our uh, player viewers who sent it into us. His name is Terry. Um, he goes to the Rosebud, so um, that will be coming up on your screen right now. G'day guys, it's Terry from the Two Short Planks down here in Rosebud, and my question for the guys is. Who was the first couple to be shown on primetime American TV sleeping in the same Just bed? Just repeating back his question for you all. Um, who was the first couple on American TV that you saw sleeping together in the one bed? Okay, I guess we've got 20 seconds. Let's go. Um, because I know the answer already, I'm not going to, uh, to uh, answer this one. But I get the points if they get it right, so... Thanks. Thank you so much, Terry, for that contribution. If you'd like to send in one, make sure that uh, you watch to the end of the video. And, uh, so, sorry, was it first American couple in a movie or TV? TV, that was. Yeah. So hopefully that's time by now. That is now, yep. There it yeah. goes. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, it should definitely be time by now. <laughs> oh, that was three seconds. That was three seconds. From when I when I clarified the question, it was 20 seconds. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, given that you may need a bit more writing time for that clarification, how about we first of all go to Keenan? Well, okay, so I thought about this, and I'm thinking, I mean, I'm probably, you know, 45 years old. I've seen a lot of TV in my time. I've seen cartoons. I've seen real-life animation, and uh, I've seen real-life TV. Um, so I'm trying to think that it's maybe Bert and Annie. Real-life <laughs> animation, you said. Real-life animation. Yes, real-life animation, because real people animated it. Right. <laughs> thank you the for best thank you for that. recovery ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, a favourite with animation. Let's ask Josh. Or not? Nah, let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. I think I might be a bit too young for this. Pan I down, pan down. Yeah. Was it? I think I may be a bit too young for this. Right. Have you lost your voice or something this week? No, no, I'm here. I just just decided to bring that up without saying anything. Right. I'm a bit like, I actually preferred the before than the after with the voice and stuff. (laughs) (laughs) I'm holding on to last week's England jokes. (laughs) (laughs) God, it was seven days ago, Lee. Let it go, man. (laughs) Look, we won a World Cup, all right. Germany, 3-1. How about you get an answer there from Justin? Uh, so I thought Homer and Marge Simpson. I thought, no, let's go earlier. Fred and Wilma, surely. Fred and Wilma. Fred and Wilma. Fred and Wilma. Oh, okay. Winston. 
Hey, Justin. Well, that's the Simpsons. Wait, what? <laughs> I might, that might not be Fred Flintstone, but I can make your bed rock. Oh, oh no! Because <laughs> it's got a loose leg, you need to put an extra screw in. And yeah. Tighten. All yeah. right. Yeah. So you're a carpenter, right? <laughs> How about you yeah. give us your answer? Yeah, I can. My answer is come to Rosebud when you're allowed, because it's fun down here and you can do trivia. Um, and then I did a cheese grater. Followed by Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Ah, because okay. we've had this at McDay's Irish Bar where we do a trivia before we've had this question. <laughs> um, well, let's hear the answer back from Terry, first of all. And the answer is Fred and Wilma Flintstone. And yes, that's right. So it is indeed Lee and Justin who got that one right, which is great for me because that means I get two points as well. Thank you for uh, that. No, I don't. Yeah, but also, <laughs> Lee, also, Lee was cheating and he's wearing the Raiders shirt. So he gets four points, exactly. So <laughs> And the bear, And the just to got... really rub it in really rub it in Keenan, yeah, Terry again. gets two points as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the, the real animator now will will uh, ask us our next question and that is Keenan. Okay, Before cool. you do though, was... Keenan, just to just to okay. clarify, because you got zero points there and Terry technically got two, you're losing to the viewers of this show already. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's all about the viewer. We're providing entertainment um, and also telling... Is that what you call this? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm going to set something up right now. Now, I'm Keenan. I'm working at Welcome to Bowen Hills. Uh, very shortly to appear at a Grand Central Hotel uh, mm. in Tennessee. Yes. So uh, that'll be coming up very shortly. Please watch the Time Out Entertainment uh website for all of our venues are happening here in Brisbane for all you Brisbaneites. Great place to go after work. So, and, uh, and as Daz always says, please support your local venues. We are coming back and we are coming back strong. So uh, please look at that. So I've got a music question for you now. Yay. What famous songs film clip was shot in front of a flaming field of cane fields? 20 seconds on the clock. Seven seconds on the clock. And that's our time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Justin, Justin, where are you going? So, uh, as soon as you mentioned the fields on fire, and I'm assuming there's only one video clip with this because there could be a few out there, in which case, Keenan, you're in a lot of trouble, my friend. <laughs> but I, I immediately saw Jimmy Barnes in a white t shirt. Barnesy. And it's not flame trees, which you'd think flame trees, but it was a cane field. Was he the working class man in front of the cane field? So what well, it's a nod from Keenan, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, All right, Josh. Uh, I'm not very good, I think I've said before, at putting uh, songs and, and answering questions. names and what. And answering questions, yeah, I suck at that. Um, so I, I was, why you're I was trying to draw something. I just ended up looking like a whole bunch of lines. Um, but I think it's supposed to be a field of some sort, but it just looks like lines. Cause you know, when you have 20 seconds, you can't draw a lot. I don't know how many years, but um, you obviously know this song. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, and Darren, <laughs> for your answer. <laughs> Well, I mean, I run out of ideas all over the board for this, so most of you know I normally draw something really cool, like cheese graters and stuff. Um, mm. this so time you I said out something of really cool? You yeah. <laughs> um, cheese graters are cool. You can you can do loads with them. You can grate onions, you can grate garlic, you can grate... You can grate your fingers? You, yeah, anything you want. <laughs> They're so versatile. <laughs> um, so I draw a circle and then just wrote, like a prayer. Oh. Oh, okay. Because that's the song I was singing in my head before you asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, very little known fact that Madonna was from Australia before she became a, <laughs> a US international singing star of the... Oh, so the you did know that. I thought that was just me that knew that. As long as you all know across the board, that's... <laughs> Daz, uh, what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Daz, bring it home, mate. Bring it home. 
Well, there were a number of uh, hot contenders. Like, I was actually Ooh. thinking dri uh, Driving Wheels by Jimmy Barnes. Yeah. And then I thought maybe Ganga Jane Sounds of Then, because, you know, they mentioned that we watch the lightning crack on the cane fields. Yes. But I decided to go with the oils and beds are burning. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Well, I can tell you one person got it right. And now, Daz, if I can throw it back to a couple of episodes ago with our Vegemite question from Justin. Uh, you sang uh, the Vegemite song to uh, the Australian National Anthem. Yes, I did. Australians all let us rejoice, for we are young yes. and free. Let's go now with Josh. <laughs> Can you give us a question, please? I don't know what you're trying to go on about there, but uh, I have a question, because this will be like the only time I can really get points in this game. Uh, we got movies. I remember last week we had uh, the three Bond villains at the top here. So yes, this is a uh, James Bond question. Uh, of Ooh. the 24 current official Bond films, uh, how many of them did Roger Moore play James Bond in? That means go. I'm just going to watch Keenan when he stops counting. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> you know we can see you, Keenan. <laughs> No, we can't, Keenan. Keep going. Keep going. Keenan will just keep going. No, the toast. <laughs> Wait. He thought of another one. And time's up, ladies and gentlemen. Daz had a massive... Oh, that is our wait. 20 seconds for the there. James Bond Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Daz, how many movies did Roger Moore do James Bond? I think I'm wrong now. Yeah, he had a massive... Oh, wait moment. So I'm curious... I've written it now, so this is what I'll go with. I've written it now. But dance into the fire. View to a kill was his last one, and maybe I should uh, you have a view to kill with me for writing down six. Uh, yeah, that, we have a six from Daz. Lee, what have you said? Apple. Apple. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> followed by the number seven. I've yeah. gone with a seven. Ooh. All right. All right. Justin. Uh, so Lee went for one Roger more than Daz. I went for Daz as well, more or less. It's around six. More Ooh. or less. Thank you. More or less. Slowly, slowly catching up with and you lads. With your finally, Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Keenan, who kept and kept and kept counting. I got that upside down. You had that upside down. Six. Six. Yes. Well, Start I can say... That one of you was right. <laughs> yeah. None of us. One of you was right. And oh, it was I can't. Lee. Yeah. It was Lee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seven. I thought I thought of the really? seventh one after. I'm so mad at myself. Yes. Uh, so yeah, Live and Let Die, Men with the Golden Gun, Spy Who Loved Me, which is a really good movie, uh, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, uh, Last Two, Octopussy, and of course, A View to a Kill. So it was. Oh, what I yeah. don't know about Roger Moore, but what time does Sean Connery get to Wimbledon? About tennis. Tennis. That's right. <laughs> tennis. <laughs> the old the ones Wimbledon. are the worst ones. An <laughs> <laughs> oldie but a goodie. We love that. <laughs> that rock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes Sean Connery. <laughs> ah, good recovery. We'll use that. Bring the horse back in. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Justin. Yes. Justin, would you like to I, ask us our next question? Too much chat. Let's shorten this one. Let's go for a true or false. I'm bringing it back to the pandemic. Is that okay? The what pandemic? It's way over. Shot. <laughs> no, I'm from the Central Coast, New South Wales. I hear on the grapevine via Facebook and uh, Time Out Entertainment chats that uh, the Willara Bay will be coming back around mid-December, so a few weeks away. So it is a bit of a rumour, but hopefully we'll be back on a Monday night at the Willara Bay. Um, so my true or false question for the pandemic is, true or false, gentlemen, the coronavirus was discovered by a female scientist in the 1960s. Is that statement true or false? The coronavirus was discovered by a female scientist in the 1960s. True or false? And starting the timer now. 20 seconds. It's so funny, but often at venues, I find this one 
takes people the longest to answer. The true or false? The true or false. It's like, because you go, oh, it, it, it sounds like this, but is it a trip? Yeah. Or is it a double bluff? Or is it a triple? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, or false. Fortunately, I'm not nasty. Okay, time's up, ladies and gentlemen. We need a T or an F. Uh, I wrote okay. the whole word. Is that so, it? Yeah. Oh, did you write the whole word? Yeah, just cross some of it out, please. Um, we don't have time for the whole word. All right, so Lee's obviously done a lot more than just one letter. <laughs> Was that Picasso, Danny? Like, this is going to get him a laugh. Okay, Josh, what do you reckon? I see you dancing in the corner there. Um, I was trying to figure out if you were trying to um, mess with your head if or not. If you were messing with our head or not. Um, Most definitely. I'm, I'm saying true. Interesting. It's possible that it could have been discovered a lot earlier, but didn't actually. Oh yeah, and I crossed out the rest of it because. You know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so too Josh, much is, in there. Josh is going true. Keenan, what do you reckon? Well, I thought so too, but I can't do it on my iPad crossing it out. I also went true because I think it was about the same time with the moon landing, if you believe that happened. Oh, the Earth's flat. The moon conspiracy on. theories. <laughs> uh, and Lee. Well, I um, I drew a jar of pickles. Oh, interesting. And then, that's what we we're waiting for. And then in Josh's, uh, following on from Josh, I also wrote true, but then crossed it out because we don't have time and just. We don't, have, we don't have time for any of that extra stuff. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> We just haven't so, got time to mess about this week. So basically, if Darren gets this right or wrong, I'm going to get zero points. No, no, it, it all depends. It all depends. That's right, which is why I just wrote, yes, it's true or false. Oh. No, 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 I, I did not say true. It is true. That leaves just one person to give us a question for today, and that is, of course, the wonderful, the, the magnificent, oh, sorry, it's Lee. No, no, oh. please, continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, movies. I don't do movies because I only know one genre of movies, and that is Disney. So normally I don't touch movies. But yeah, this movie... You got question right. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you know, I just knew that. <laughs> um, uh, but it is... Um, well, I mean, it's a Disney movie question. Okay. Um, what was the last Disney movie that Walt Disney himself got to actually work on before he died. Ooh. Would you like multiple choice? No. Okay. No. no. I'm going to think yes. about it. Yeah, yeah. Can I say yes? <laughs> All right. Okay, In that now, case, uh, go for it. Go. 20 seconds starts okay. right now. Okay. So we say fully animated movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the, right. the last movie okay. that Walt Disney could work on before he died. Okay. Again, fully animated? Yes. Okay, cool. Was okay, 20 seconds, that's it. Time's up, I better write something. <laughs> Good idea, Justin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> write something. I'm not doing any pretty pictures. There's no time for pictures, jeez. Gosh, what have you got? Um, I guessed. I just said Cinderella, because I guessed. Well, it's ah. Disney. It's, oh well, yeah, I'm sure it's Disney, but I just guessed. <laughs> I don't even know if I've got Disney in time. <laughs> <laughs> in, and on that. Uh, rather dubious note, Justin. What have you got? <laughs> well, I went for Aladdin. Is that is that even Disney? Yes, that is Disney's Aladdin. Oh, yeah. good. All right. But is it? Yeah. No, no, it, no, it's not Disney. It's a whole new world. A whole new world. Uh, <laughs> Dasman. Um, well, uh, as as they say in the movie, uh, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I want to be like you, Jungle Book. And see, I did a jungle book and I tried to draw like a... Uh, How dare you? You're not allowed to draw any photos. Remember, we're on a time <laughs> we're on a for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Keenan on your magnificent iPadrio of the future. <laughs> I was uh, I was thinking about uh, when I was in a time in South America and uh, one of the cocktails I love called a Caipirinha. And I love the name of that because I could I can remember that. I say, Caipirinha And that's from the Jungle Book. Uh, yes, totally. <laughs> the correct answer is, despite Keenan's song, The Jungle Book. Ooh. Uh, it is The Jungle Book. Look, thank you, everyone, for 
for watching this particular episode. Thank you also, Terry from Rosebud, for uh, your question. Do you have one? Make sure that you send it to the email address that you see at the end of this episode. How did you go? Uh, have you been uh, watching all the other episodes? If you have, make sure that you're like sharing and subscribing and telling your friends about us. Uh, we love doing this for you. And uh, don't forget as well to support the online trivia as well as uh, all of the different uh, clubs out there. They need your support and we want to be a part of that support for them as well. Alrighty, so until next time, I've been Daz and I've been joined here today with Justin, um, Josh, Keenan and Lee. And join us again for a wonderful, fun-filled episode of Smarticus. Smarticus.